What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of yeah. Play With Your Food, yeah. um, the show where we bring you random stuff we find around the UK to show you guys wherever you live, be it the UK, the States, I don't know, we've got people all over, actually. So, yeah, wherever you live, <laughs> you can see what we have here. Um, so, we have, Katie's already showing you one of the items today, a Tortuga Rum Cake. I don't know if this is available in the States. We found it out here quite randomly, actually. It was around, what, Christmas time mm -hmm. that we found this thing? Okay. Um, what, sir? Okay. Yes, we're going to have that in just a sec. So, um, we have this one, and we have the Angry Birds um, Fruit Gummies. Eat first. Gummies. And you can see in the box, it's got... With the, all the different little birds, the pigs, uh, what else is on there? Yeah, uh, the pigs are apple, and then they got the different colored birds, blue and red and yellow, purple. And there's two red ones, one's cherry and one's strawberry. The big fat bird is strawberry. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what we got for you today. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. I guess we'll start with this thing since I really don't know what it is. Power bird. So if you want to see the box closer, that's how it looks. It says Tortuga, uh, Caribbean rum cake, Caribbean rum cake, and it's got a pirate ship on it. Um, it's, a, it's a power cake. I mean, um, pirate cake. Oh, man. Oh, on it? Yeah. So, um, yes, sir. Put it away. Hold on, bubs. Hold on, bubs. So, it says, you're about to indulge in an authentic and original world-famous Tortuga rum cake, officially recognized as the number one souvenir and exports from the Cayman Islands. Tortuga rum cakes originate from a secret family recipe that dates back over 100 years. Uh, rum cake are baked in multiple... State-of-the-art bakeries, which produce in excess of 10,000 cakes per day. That's so... How do they have so many cakes? And I've never seen this before. Serving <laughs> suggestions. Sprinkle powdered sugar on it. Ow! Serve with fresh cream. Serve with ice cream. Warm it up in a microwave and put vanilla ice cream on it. Why? 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 So... You get this nice little fact sheet when you open it up, and then your cake is inside, and that's what it looks like. Kind of small and wrapped in plastic. Actually, it's air sealed, so that's what I was just thinking. I was wondering why I couldn't smell it, but it's air sealed in this thing. Oh, now I can smell it. It smells like rum. <laughs> I just smell rum right now. It's just... Um, it's kind of got juicy stuff on it. And it's really soft. Okay, here, get back to Auntie. Oh, it's really soft. Yeah, it is Dad. super soft and extra moist. Get some from Auntie, dude. Hello. So here is how the cake <laughs> looks, and it's like super <laughs> smush and spongy. Um, Mine too. See. I don't know what this has in it. Hopefully Remy's not allergic to anything in here. Yes, I should have read the box, huh? Um, Rum. Yeah. Does it say? Now this will be fine. It says eggs. So soft it is. <laughs> what is that? With all honesty, this thing's pretty darn good. It reminds me of eggnog. Yeah, what is that? That's yeah. That was a walnut. Mm. It's very soft too. Yeah, so, um, is this thing worth getting? It's 
a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. When I saw it, it looked kind of, well, it was like out on the sale shelf, so I didn't think it was going to be that great. Because there was a whole bunch of them sitting there, and I got them, but they were like a couple pence, I think. <laughs> it was like super cheap. Um, now I wish I would have bought a couple of them. <laughs> I think it's really good. So if you ever come across that, I would say pick it up. That was pretty awesome. Oh, I know, right? All Warming warm. up with ice cream. Yeah, all warm and gooey. Yeah, man, that was super good. Um, I didn't expect that. If I come across those again, I'm definitely buying them. Mm -hmm. The car they got red, red, blue, green, purple, and that's a lot of red. No, it's right, empty. Hands all slippery from that stupid cake. <laughs> oh, no, it. it says Terry here, but there's no thing in Terry. No, Terry in me! Is it good, Katie? Mm hmm. Okay. So, when you open the box, there's another package inside that's impossible to open if your hands are slippery from cake. Um, well, there's actually quite a few in here. You can see in there, there's all kinds of colors, little tiny angry birds. Uh, it smells like all other fruit snack packages I've ever opened. Dark. And some of those to Auntie and Hey, good guys. Hey, good. Okay, Amy. You can have the bomb. There you go. The bomb. Alright, so I got a pig and uh, one of the small red birds. Here's that's how they more, look. That's more, kind of hard to see on camera, I guess, the shapes. This is red and um, yeah, pink. I have that's the yellow bird. Hi. Um, There's the pig. What's the blue one? Oh, that little mouse one. Let me eat the ball. It's alright. It's like every other fruit chew I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Chewy though. It is a bit chewy. It is a little bit soft to eat. Okay. 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 It's very soft. Okay. Um. Remy, eat your food, dude. You have a whole bunch in your hand. Why do you need these ones? So, yeah, these are okay. I mean, if you like fruit chews, I'd say get one. Otherwise, eh, not really worth it. If you want Angry Bird stuff, then, yeah. Yeah, more of a showpiece, I think. I got one of those, pig. like, you hang it on the wall and never I open it. I got pig, guys. Mm -hmm. See, I got pig. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so, as far as today's goes, I would definitely, definitely say get that Tortuga cake. The Angry Birds thing. If you really feel like having some fruit snacks or you just want them for show, then go ahead and pick them up. Otherwise, nah, I wouldn't bother. They have other packages. I'm not sure if the other ones are different. Like they had a, what, the red package and I think the green package. So, I could take a look and see if there's any difference. Um, it's all that you guys know. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't bother with it again. <laughs> All right, so that's what we have for you today. Um, I don't know if Rox remembers the facts we were just spitting out. I remember one of them you were talking about. It was actually before we started the show. Um, that if you blindfold the person and pinch their nose, that if they eat an onion, an apple, and a potato, they all taste the great. Which I thought that pretty cool. I mean, it's just, I don't really like onions. If I close my eyes and pinch my nose, it would just have the same taste as an apple and a potato, but that's kind of disappointing as well. There's only one flavor. <laughs> so, kind of sad there. Yeah, I found that kind of odd. We were reading in an article that they blindfolded and, and um, plugged the noses of several people and they weren't able to differentiate the, the apples, onions, and potatoes to them. They all tasted the same. Mm -hmm. So I haven't tested it myself. That was just what we read. 
Mm. But it sounds kind of interesting, and I'm thinking about actually testing it out. Hey, Rana, it's gonna make me disappointed. Apples and potatoes all around. Yes, yes. We know your big old crybaby with onions. Oh, she's not crybaby, Dad. She's not. When it comes to onions, it is. Yeah. She, it's not crybaby with onions. My little defender. No, my little lawyer. Onions. Yeah, not much. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyways. So yeah, I don't know. That does sound interesting, though, and I do kind of want to try it out. And so there you go. That's what we have for you guys this Yay. week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Stay happy, stay healthy, and all that other stuff. And we will see you guys later.